Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to show you how we can use transfer learning for face recognition in MATLAB. Okay, so this project will come under deep learning classification project, right? So let us start from scratch for CLC, clear all, close all, CLC. So what I have done in my previous video, I have already uploaded a separate video for the demonstration purpose face recognition project in MATLAB using transfer learning with complete code. So how to use this code let me first discuss. You just go to the comment section and here pinned comment you will be getting. Just let me take this particular comment okay. This is used to take images okay. First obviously for machine learning or deep learning project we need to train the model and for training the model we need data set and for data set purpose for capturing the image okay data collection part I, this, this code is there so i will just paste this right nothing else let me explain the code first clc clear all close all warning of as you generally write then i am turning on the webcam okay and in the webcam each time i will capture one image and detect where face is present using Viola Jones algorithm, right? I am going to train my model for five, 150 images for different faces, right? 150 image for one face, 150 image for another face like that. So temp equal to zero, this variable I am defining. This will basically keep track of total number of images taken while true, okay? So infinite loop, so will break when the temp variable will reach 150 value e equal to cao dot snapshot i am taking snapshot each time using my webcam then detecting the face part if face is detected okay that is not equal to zero that time what we will do we will first check whether temp greater than equal to c or not temp greater than equal to c means temp started from zero if it is greater than equal to 150 that means already 150 images taken so we will break the loop okay else else part is original part very very important i am cropping the detected image part resizing that to 227 cross 227 very very important value for alexnet transfer learning because alexnet require 227 cross 227 uh, image for training okay then i am storing that captured image only the cropped face part using this file name okay num to str temp okay like so temp will be basically the name of my image okay so 0 1 2 3 4 like that i am just converting to string and adding dot bmp extension so that uh, uh, this is the requirement of uh, converting from number to string so that we can apply our string concatenation and give the file name and using i am right to write the image okay temp equal to temp plus one i am incrementing the temp variable so if face is not detected then this temp variable is not going to increment so else i we are not going to increment temp else simply showing the image and giving draw now end right so this is what is about our uh, image or data collection part so i will go to the current directory see here C user Satudra Mukherjee desktop VLSI lab diamond and machine learning. This is my path. So here I have just came to the same path PC desktop VLSI lab diamond machine learning. Here what I will do first I will create one folder with my name. Okay. Satudra. I will open this folder okay that is not required for the time being right so i now what i will do i will set my current path to that folder see i am selecting that folder what we have created just now okay we are going to select that folder right now i will just run this whole code okay and take or capture images from this so let me run the whole code
so my 150 image for my face is captured so my face part data collection is done right i will close my webcam okay using clear all okay so if i go to my now the folder which i have created you will see that here lots of images of my face is present actually 149 it is started from zero so that 149 actually this is 150 images cool now what we will do we will come out of the folder so again i will change the path from so to through to machine learning okay that is our original path i will go and this particular one this particular folder i will create one database okay i will give the name database database and okay database name is already exist okay let me just change the name rename data storage okay so in the data storage i will put all the images taken for my face okay training part is done now what i am going to do i am going to create another folder with the name Sarukh Khan okay so now what we are going to do we are going to capture images or face of Sarukh Khan and going to store in this folder so again what I will do I will change the path to Sarukh Khan current directory I will set to Sarukh Khan okay now I will I have downloaded one image from internet and here let me just keep that image in front of my webcam and run the whole code so that it can collect the data okay control a evaluate selection Okay, some error I am getting. Let me just clear this. And okay, this kind of thing might happen. Okay, see some images has not came actually. So what I will do? Control A and delete all this. Okay, and then again run the whole code so that it will work this time properly. Control A. So 150 images are captured. I hope you have seen that two, three images was not capturing properly because I have kept my mobile phone in my hand. So my hand was shaking a little bit so that uh, some images was not coming properly. Okay. So anyway, that will not make much problem. So here many images are captured. So what I will do, I will delete two, three images like this, which came here due to improper capturing of improper holding of mobile phone anyway we are good to go uh, many images are captured obviously if you increase the data set size it is going to work in a more better way classification is going to work in a better way now what i will do i will keep again my current directory to machine learning only select folder okay now this sadukhan folder i will just move to the data storage which we have created okay so up to this part is done now what i will do i have to train the model 
to train the model if you go to my previous video see here train model code is given what i will do i will copy this code from here and paste here okay so what it is doing let me just explain see clc close all okay if you want you can write clear all also clc clear all close all then warning off also okay i am calling alexnet which is one pre-trained network based on uh, it is spent on thousand image but we require wha, how much we require only two uh, we require to classify only two image okay so first i am extracting the layers and fully connected layers i am keeping as two suppose you have to classify four different classes then you keep this as four five five like that okay 23rd layer and 25th layer i am uh, keeping this classification layer okay now what i am doing all images okay this is my image data store okay already discussed in machine learning project also image data store so what i will do here in this particular part i will keep the database name okay i will just remove this what is my database name my database name which i have created is data storage okay data storage data storage okay include subfolders yes inside data storage if you just check two folders are present one is for sarukh khan images another one is for sadhguru images include sub include subfolders true and what is the label label is nothing but folder name see in in the folder sadhguru sadhguru images are present in the folder of sarukh khan sarukh khan images are present then i am training my network okay training option sgdm okay stochastic stochastic uh, gradient descent okay initial learning rate in which rate my model is going to learn that is 0.001 i am specifying max reports 20 mini batch size 64 i hope you know mini batch gradient descent stochastic stochastic gradient descent batch gradient descent all these things are present where mini batch is the better one so we are choosing that and then i am training my network using train network using all the images layers and this output and i am saving my network so that each time it will not take time to uh, train the network okay once uh, tra training is done once our uh, network training is done according to our transfer learning we will save that so that we can use in future and just changing the name my net one okay because previously i have used this name my net so just what i will do i will run this whole code and this particular section is going to take much more time compared to other section that is testing or data collection because it is a deep learning project and you can understand that it is going to take more uh, complicated operations so that obviously it is going to take much time and again it depends on the the configuration of your computer okay so let's wait for some time and check whether we are uh, done with the learning or not okay so it may take 5 minutes or 10 minutes like that. So see training on single GPU started epoch, iteration, time, how much taken, mini batch accuracy, loss, okay, base learning rate, all these information data you will be getting slowly by slowly right so first epoch completed it is going on So using transfer learning, your whole project will become basically very simple. Just you need to train your model based on the 
images whatever you want to classify right and rest everything matlab will do so this is the advantage of deep learning in machine learning if you want to train the model what we need to do we need to apply feature extraction that may be local binary pattern that may be histogram of oriented gradient that may be surf features or anything others but when you are using deep learning your model internally the hidden neural layer so hidden layers will automatically do that for you okay you just need to pass the images and uh, the labels very very important part this labels okay label source folder name okay what label you want to give for images that is also plays a very vital role so here by this time our second epoch also completed okay so it is it almost reach 100% accuracy obviously in deep learning you will be getting good accuracy that's why from machine learning we uh, if we want uh, better accuracy instead of machine learning we go for deep learning but the problem is that it require more resources and huge data set for training okay because we are not specifying the rules it is going to learn by itself so obviously it is quite clear that it require more huge data set if huge data set accuracy will be high otherwise low okay like here i have taken 150 images if you want to increase the accuracy then you should uh, uh, take at least maybe 1000 2000 images and obviously it is going to take more time during that training also so here our training is completed now it is saving the network okay my net one which we are going to use for testing purpose in the next few seconds okay let's see how much time it takes more okay so it's done right now i will create another editor window and what i will do i will do testing so for testing model see here i have given the code okay just copy this same code okay that's why i am giving the code so that you no need to uh, waste much time for writing the code you just understand the code and modify according to your own requirement clc close clear c equal to webcam i am turning on the webcam load mynet1 okay because we have created here mynet1 we have saved that see here you will be getting mynet1 in the current folder right now i am again creating one object uh, that is vilajon algorithm uh, face detector okay and then while true infinite loop each time i am capturing snapshot and detecting the face part if face part is present that means if sum of b boxes is not equal to 0 that means if b boxes is not empty cropping the face part resizing that to 227 cross 227 and uh, classifying using my net one okay whatever uh, name you are using for saving part same name you have to use here okay showing the image and giving the title the label part i am giving as title okay care of label okay so in the label part we will be able to see that what the classifier is predicting for the captured image okay and giving draw now else else that means if uh, our code is unable to our vilajon algorithm is unable to detect the face part simply so in the image with the title no face detected okay so hopefully this code should work so what i will do i will now run for testing purpose and th this is the time to check whether our model is working correctly or not okay train model whatever project we have implemented so i am running the code so i hope you have seen that we have got pretty much good accuracy i have tested it was detecting my face correctly and classified as satudru and face of sarukh khan 
correctly classified as Sarukh Khan, right? And one more thing point to be noted here one image which I have used for training apart from that also one image another uh, different image I have taken from internet from uh, for Sarukh Khan face and that also it was able to detect correctly, right? So our model has a pretty good accuracy. Now you can play with this. So transfer learning is a very helpful concept. Just you need to uh, add just two, three layers of your whole network. Okay, here like here we are using AlexNet. Okay, similar to that different networks are present. You can explore more from MathWorks documentation. So this is a very interesting project for classification point of view. This is what I wanted to show you. This is face recognition and I hope you can understand what is the importance of this okay either uh, for security purpose if you consider or maybe anything else in daily life many places we use this okay so you can try with this play with this have fun right code again I will post in the description box and in the comment section so this is all for my this video thank you for watching